A new study shows that Tesla wants to be the second largest battery manufacturer in the world by 2030. Only cattle is planning more than Tesla by 2030. Most of the electric vehicle battery producing companies are from Asia and only Tesla is the second in that top 10 list. Friends, welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if you like this video. Video. Around three quarters of the global production capacity for lithium ion cells is still in Asia and especially in China. But the West is doing a lot to catch up with these important future building blocks. Almost every week, car manufacturers in Europe and the United States announce plans for their own large battery factories. Toyota, for example, plans to invest $3.4 billion in the U.S. production, and Stellantis announced on Monday that it would build a factory in North America with LG Energy Solutions. So the market is on the move, but according to a new study, Asian companies will dominate at least until 2030. Only Tesla could move into the top group with its battery plants. And I'm going to tell you how Tesla is going to do that. So cattle plants maximum cell production by 2030. With LG Energy, BYD, and Panasonic, three companies from Asia, South Korea, China, and Japan, they had the highest production capacities for lithium-ion batteries in the world last year. This emerges from a market survey published this Tuesday by the Spanish research organization CIC Energigun. Two of the biggest three also supplied Tesla, and there were recently rumors about BYD, which has so far mainly installed its batteries in its own electric cars, that they should also go to Tesla. According to CIC, number four in terms of installed capacity in 2020 was cattle with 53 gigawatt hours, which has been supplying LFP battery cells for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y since last year. Now, if you if you're looking at the study results published at um, uh, by uh, CIC Energigun, we see that the top of the list is cattle. It says the growth, uh, cattle's growth is going to be thanks to its current plant expansion and project, including the one underway in Germany, which is expected to reach 100 gigawatt hour. Um, by 2030, they expect to build to have 311 gigawatt hour. Uh, second is Tesla, which aims to have 260 gigawatt hour by 2030. 2030 in the battery factory at Giga Berlin. Only the Giga Berlin project with a maximum capacity of 250 260 gigawatt hours and the development of its Fremont plant make it the future major play player. So Tesla plants uh, is right now right now has about 10 gigawatt hour capacity at its uh, Cato Road facility near Fremont factory and 250 gigawatt hour uh, when the uh, Giga Berlin's battery factory uh, reaches its full capacity. The third largest, which we haven't probably heard much, is a battery company called S-Volt from China. And uh, CIC says its growth is mainly based on the development of five new projects in China. Maybe one day I will do a report on on asphalt and its five uh, new battery projects in China. The fourth in the list is LG Chem, friends. It, um, it's expected to increase its uh, capacity thanks mainly to its joint venture with General Motors in the United States and the scaling up of its first plant already operating in China. LG Chem uh, will have 179 uh, gigawatt hour battery uh, capacity by 2030 and asphalt that I talked about will have only one extra gigawatt hour with 180 uh, gigawatt hour uh, announced energy uh, capacity by 2040. Interestingly, there is another company known as Northvolt uh, from Sweden with 150 gigawatt hour capacity. Uh, CIC says in addition to its macro project in Sweden and Germany together 64 gigawatt hour by 2024, it is working on new projects to reach 
150 gigawatt hour by uh, 2030. And then in the list come, comes another company called uh, Farasis from China, BYD from China with 146 and 140 gigawatt hour capacity by 2030. You have heard about BYD, but have you heard about Farasis? It expects to start its ambitious project in Jiangxi this year with a maximum capacity of up to 120 gigawatt hour in the next few years and to launch another in Germany in 2022. You see how many Chinese uh, electric vehicle battery companies are coming to launch their projects battery production in Germany, cattle, uh, Farasis, and also now um, Giga Berlin, Tesla in Giga Berlin. Interestingly, then after BYD comes uh, uh, SK Innovations, Panasonic, Samsung, and others that um, we think are big companies, but they will only have, like for example, Panasonic will only have 107 gigawatt hour capacity by 2030. SK Innovation will have 135, but the top three are cattle with 311 uh, gigawatt hour by 2030, Tesla with 260 gigawatt hour by 2030, and asphalt by 2000, um, uh, by uh, 180 gigawatt hour by uh, 2030. Uh, in the end of the list, uh, the uh, Third from the end is an Indian company, Tata, with 50 gigawatt hour battery capacity. It expects to open 10 gigawatt hour plant in the Indian region of Gujarat in 2021 that it wants to scale up to 50 gigawatt hour as Indian companies are working toward producing electric vehicles. Um, we see that it's interestingly, uh, we see that um, this may uh, push Tesla to, to build its own uh, company in, in India to produce electric vehicles because looks like things are moving up there. Now, according to the count, the Chinese company was already the battery market leader for electric cars in some quarters. I'm talking about cattle. It def definitely has the most ambitious plans. According to the study, as I said, among other things, it is planning 100 gigawatt hours of annual cell uh, capacity in Germany and aims to achieve a total of 311 gigawatt hours per year by 2030. Part of these plans is apparently a huge new cattle factory near the Tesla Giga factory in Shanghai. Also in China, Asphalt, the former battery division of Great Wall Motors, wants to build five new factories, as I said, and thus achieve 180 gigawatt hours of capacity by 2030. If you are interested in Asphalt, let me know, friends. Maybe I can do another video report and bring you some details about that. Now, with 179 gigawatt hours, the current number one LG Energy, which among other things is pursuing major plans with General Motors in the United States, is just behind uh, Asphalt. The Swedish company Northvolt, which was founded by two former Tesla managers, will come with an annual capacity of currently zero and 150 gigawatt hours planned for 2030. Farasis from China, which I just mentioned, also wants to invest in Germany, among others. It, in addition, BYD, SK Innovation, and Panasonic want to have more than 100 gigawatt hours of battery capacity per year by 2030, according to the study. Do you think this is a lot, friends? Not necessarily, because if we're going to uh, switch the entire fleet into electric mobility, we need lots of, lots of batteries. Far and even almost at the top of the top group expected for 2000, 30. However, Tesla is also involved. So far, the only concrete known of the company is the plan to create 50 gigawatt hours of battery production capacity annually on the site of its gigafactory near Berlin. CIC Energidun expects up to 250 gigawatt hours from this factory alone, which would make Tesla the battery cell manufacturer with the second largest capacity worldwide by 2030. Like almost all other Western producers, Tesla is starting to practically from scratch. Producing in the battery factory together with Panasonic in the United States is completely assigned to Japanese partner in the study. So friends, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Tesla? Uh, Tesla's capacity to build batteries? You know, in the list, I also see a uh, 
uh, uh, British company, British company that is going to looks like the name is Arstras Volt um, with 35 uh, gigawatt hour battery factory. Uh, by 2030, it is working on a 35 gigawatt hour plant in North Murbeland in UK by 2023. I see two companies looks like they're like soft. Uh, is that a French company? I believe it's a French company and uh, it is working on a launch of two new plants in france and germany with an expected capacity of 24 gigawatt hour each so probably this is for french electric vehicles and there is also an italian company known as ital volt and it expects to complete the first phase of the project in 2024 with an initial capacity of 45 gigawatt hour which is expected to increase to 70 gigawatt hour in subsequent expansions um, these are the top players friends if I had time before this report, I would probably add everything together to let you know what is the um, uh, the summary of all of these gigawatts by 2030. Of course, these are not all the companies, but the major ones. But it's still interesting to see how many cars they can power all together by 2030. Well, let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Have a wonderful day.